How about you? Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. Today we're building another barn door. I posted a video earlier about a barn door build. Guess what? Doing it again, this time on the other side. Stick around. Before we begin, I want to show you the barn door har hardware that I bought to get this project done. Okay, let's take a look. Now this hardware kit, you have to buy it in several pieces. I, I bought mine from Tractor Supply. There's several places that have it. So pick out whatever store you have to go get your kit. But what I chose was this 10 foot long rail. All right, this rail will actually be, it's dull, we're gonna make a five foot door. So we bought a 10 foot rail. And so this rail has tabs on it. You can see the tabs here and you put lag screws in that. And that's what's gonna secure this rail to the barn itself. And then you have to buy the wheels that travel inside the track all right so these wheels will go inside here it's got a groove you can see that uh, you place them in through the end and these wheels will travel up and down the track for your barn door to open and close you also have to buy brackets these brackets will attach to the barn door itself and that way and you attach the wheels to the bracket to keep the door sliding back and forth something else you have to buy are the end caps all right these end caps go on the end of this 10 foot long rail and that keeps your wheels or your rollers from going outside and coming off and that way your barn door stays secure inside the, the rail we did buy a latch to go on it and we'll put a handle on it as well so those are the, the parts that we're going to use and uh, we think that the five foot opening is plenty for <laughs> the little mini pigs we got if we get a pig that's bigger than five foot wide we're in trouble right so the five foot opening is going to be plenty enough to get our barn animals in and out. All right, let's get started on the construction. Okay, here's the wall and the window that we're going to do. We're going to take this window out, take out this wall, create about a five foot opening somewhere around in there. And so what it's going to do is going to allow a center walkway. So we'll have our chickens on this side and we'll finish up these nesting boxes here. And then we'll have an opening here and then our bunnies will be on this side. So we'll have pigs, chickens, bunnies. Uh, eventually we'll get goats in here too. My, my wife wants uh, dwarf goats or whatever. So what she wants, she gets, right? And so anyway, we're going to get this open. That way we can get them all out into the sunshine, get them some, some grass and all that stuff. We have a little fencing area that they can access and uh, they'll, they'll, they're just going to be happy. We want to keep our animals happy. And so we're going to go ahead and get started, tear this thing apart because that makes me happy when I get to demo stuff. demo I wanted to point out something I'm going to be real careful taking off this particular siding this siding that's on the interior of the barn is the same that they use on the exterior so I think I can repurpose this to make the actual door with uh, I think I got enough pieces to make it work so I'll you I'll repurpose this wood siding and the exterior wood siding from the big hole that we cut out something else I need to be super super careful about is I know electrical runs through this wall I've already cut the breakers off and uh, but I want to make sure that you know I don't try to cut it with a saw or anything like that because I don't want to get shocked or, or or get electrocuted while I'm trying to make a big hole in the wall. Okay, let's continue the demo. opening done what we'll do is we'll take the wood that we removed from the interior and the exterior wall finish we'll piece those together make a door out of it get the rail set up get it all framed up nice and uh, we be done with this barn door we're almost we're almost done with the project so let's uh let's finish this thing up you want to <laughs> to do 
do is take the pieces of wood from the inside and the outside and so these two pieces we laid together there and we're going to make those 52 inches wide the door is going to be 52 inches wide the opening is 48 inches but those are 52 inches wide and we're going to cut them at 41 inches tall run a two by four across the center of them and then we'll match them up to this piece we'll make that 52 inches wide and cut it at 41 inches and that will have us our 82 inches at 52 inches wide with a two by four running across the middle all right so that's what we're going to do next is get all these fit to size decided to do was set it on the trailer because it's a flat surface and then we can get it all picture framed up and just carry it away from here once we get it all screwed together can't believe it turned out even the seams matched so we were pretty excited about that all day but you know we were doing other projects as well we were actually doing some painting around and uh, running some uh, more lighting in another pole barn so but we got this done today with the help of my good friend Steve and uh, we were able to knock this out uh, all I got to do now is put a latch on it a handle and, and paint it and it's good to go so worked out good I really like this rail and roller system a lot better than I do the kind of the overhang hook system that we used on the other side uh, but anyway, so now I've got two barn doors on the barn, so it's pretty cool. And we can just go, the animals can go in and out a lot easier this way. So we're pretty excited about that. It's a simple enough build, and we were able to repurpose the wood that we had from inside the barn. The only thing we had to buy was the kit, the, the hardware kit to hang the door with. So, um, you know, it's always good when you can repurpose the wood like that. So thanks a lot for watching the video. It's not a tutorial. It's not a, it's not a how to do it. It's just how we did it. So, uh, but hopefully you got some, uh, little pointers out of it. As always, there's a little subscribe button underneath the video. If you click on that, uh, that'll take you to our subscribe page. We'd love for you to tag along and just, uh, uh, see how we do life here at Hamiltonville farm. So thanks a lot. And we'll talk to you on the next video.